Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Momo Manor Farm. <coughs> it is a new day. It is 9.39 in the morning. Uh, and if we have a look at our map, uh, something rather special has happened. We have... Uh, we have on field 18 here and, uh, and on uh, field 19 uh, east... We're ready to harvest on both of them. Uh, so we're going to attack field 18. It's soybeans. Uh, and we also don't have the header yet for field 19. So we're, we're all we're all right for that for the minute. So we're going to attack field 18. We're going to get this harvested today. Uh, so therefore, for that, we're taking the Massey Ferguson. What we're going to do is we're going to try out the other remaining course play mode. So there is a, a mode which is called Spiral. Um, which I'm hoping is going to give us the the mode that we need to get it to work and hopefully as i said we will be uh, we'll be in good hands with it so slowly up here because we still have the bump in our road and this is yeah this is just wide enough this roadway to get down here without destroying crop and without doing that our tree line along here has really grown up now we've got a, a wonderful uh, separation here uh, and we got and our poplars actually are coming up as well, uh, which is pretty cool. So we want to keep the auger out. So I'm going to unfold the harvester, turn it on, and we'll head in a little bit. So we look at the auger, the auger is there. Let's keep that out a little bit. And, uh, and then like this. Now we're going to load up the special course that we've got. Check we've got no course on. The, the special court we got is field 18 at low attempt. So load that up, and uh, and then we're going to come into this mode here. And what we got is if we zoom in. We've got currently no course, current vehicle position, starting direction is automatic. Uh, bypass islands which doesn't matter. Don't skip row. No return to first point. Uh, not multiple tools. Single working with. We want a headland, we want two of them. I actually go three of them. Uh, we're going to go clockwise, which is correct. Uh, start working on the headland, yes, heading for the smooth. Field centre, we're going to spiral. And let's generate that and see what that looks like. That um, is worrying. <laughs> I think it would. Well, we can give it a try, but I'm, yeah, it's a little bit odd the way that's going like that to those points. Uh, it's, yeah, it, it's not going to go round the end of the field to do it, uh, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, I'm not so sure about that. If we race track, we already know what that is. Uh, we need to go back. Yeah, we've got to clear this course and reload. So that's, that's the trouble every time we do this. So I think we're just going to go for a start. No, actually, we'll harvest it ourselves. Then. Seeing as we, we do that, we've not got anything else to do uh, this this time. So we'll start off actually by going round the field the right way. We should have a good time with this because this is fully harvest, uh, fully uh, done. So it's, it's fully fertilised and everything. Should work really, really well. Quite a big field though for us so we may only get the headlands out on it today and it really is this is the only job we have to do uh, the horses do need riding as always uh, but yeah our grass is all cut uh, our other fields I believe are all uh, fertilized as much as they need to be field 15 actually uh, I think we need to go and do some planting in so we might get that started in a minute and get our uh, get our T5 on there. I think maybe once we get once we get round this headland and get the first bit done, uh, that might be a wise way to go. Either way, though, I look at it, it's uh, it's this is this is our focus. This is the thing that is going to get us going and, and going to fund us for the next few episodes, uh, because we are going to move from this job into uh, doing the cows. We've massively, uh, we've got all of our silage bales wrapped now. Uh, we've sorted all that out. 
Uh, we got 79,000, so we can. Uh, we do have cow yards we can buy. I'm actually going to go in search of uh, some other cow yards because I'm not. I'm not 100% sold on the ones we've got, and uh, and I quite like to look for alternative. But certainly over the next couple of episodes, I think we're going to end up selling off some soybeans, topping this up just to the point where we're able to get uh, at least get our uh, cow uh, cow area our dairy area and uh, and then buy a load of cows I would like to uh, 10 cows would be 50,000 so you know the less our cow yard costs and the more that we can make from uh, from this crop and from the corn the better off we'll be so uh, yeah Anyway, so we are going to keep on here. We're 24% of the way through having done uh, one side. Hopefully, with the fact that this field is fairly square, uh, we should hit 100% when we get back round to the start. So uh, I will see you there. Coming back round to the entrance of the field now. And as suspected, we do not have a full tank off the headland. We've actually got surprisingly only about 75%. Uh, we're 74 at the moment, but yeah, there we go. Ticked over to 75%. So I'm slightly surprised that we haven't had a full tank at the end of this field. Um, however, uh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I have realised two things, though, while I'm going around the field. Uh, one... This is canola, not soybeans. I'd completely forgotten that. Uh, soybeans are what we have in the upper part of field 18. Uh, and secondly, uh, we should have a course play course already set up for our karting tractor. So what I'm gonna do at this point, as I was, we're at 77% full and we've come round, so I'm gonna take my tractor here and uh, I'm actually gonna move this trailer out of the way quickly because uh, yeah that is smack bang in our way but then we need to have a look at this course play course quickly and see if uh, see if it's still fit for purpose or see if we will need to create a new one so uh, there we go and uh, let's have a look so we should have F18 lower carting there it is uh, load that up and let's have a look at where it runs. So it runs fine through here and off there. Does it run fine through our... No. No, unfortunately. So we are going to have to dump that one. It runs... Uh, 18 lower carting. So we'll dump that course and get rid of it. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll go and set ourselves up now. Uh, probably, uh, we'll probably get to a 100% full tank, I think, and we can then go from there, but it's, uh, yeah, that's slightly disappointing, I kind of wish that uh, we had the full whack here, I think I need to alter this slightly, that's a bit close to the road that those soybeans are, that's going to cause us all sorts of problems later, there we go, right, back into our combine, and away we go. So we'll get up to 100% on this and bring our tractor up beside us and, uh, and empty out. That way we know that when we come to empty out for the second time, which should be easily or the whole way around the field again, uh, we will be in a position where we can then set up the course play course uh, and, and we doing the harvesting will then have no problem uh, sort of keeping this working and keeping this going uh, we're only going to take three headlands off the field so by the looks of this at 75 percent off the first headland we're going to be about halfway around the field again when we uh, when we go to empty this which is quite something that means we're going to get a full tank or uh, sorry a full trailer off 
the headlands of the field. Uh, which is not too bad. It's not too shabby. That um, does mean we're probably only going to get maybe two and a half, maybe three trailers off the field. So that is uh, that is slightly disappointing in that that's only about 40,000 litres I'm expecting our actual final yield on this field to be. Uh, we'll see how we go. We've actually got f not got quite as far around the field as I was expecting at the moment. Uh, 91%. Uh, but it's not too bad. I think we'll keep going and uh, and we'll come back uh, to you once uh, we've sort of got that last 8% and we'll see how far we've got. There 98% now. This 99, 550, 560, 570, 580, 590, and there we go. Right, put our auger out, switch to our tractor. Which is easy enough, there we go. Uh, so I'm going to set this up so it's a general course play course that will work for everything. Uh, especially if we decide. I don't know what I'm going to do with the poplars. With the Anderson DLC now uh, released and having used the bio baler on both my live streams. Um, actually, I've only used the bio baler on the live stream so far. So let us know in the comments. Do you want to see me use the bio baler in these videos? Or, or do you think we just don't have enough poplars on the farm to be doing that and it's not worth it? If so, what should we do with the poplars? Uh, I'm still tempted to get a forage harvester, but we don't have anywhere to uh, do the corn uh, to. We don't have a silage clamp, and I'm not planning to add one, really. Uh, and as a result, uh, it's yeah, we, we've no need for a, a, a silage clamp based on, uh, on the fact of what we've got at the moment. Let's just jump out of this. Jump back into our combine, ready to go. There we go, 5% and empty. So we can head off again. And, uh, and yeah, we're about, we're just under halfway around the field. So I'm expecting uh, us to, to basically get back around and, uh, and empty uh, probably right far around the other side, having done uh, almost another complete, well, and, uh, Got back to the start and done another loop. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll keep going. We'll get around the other side. We'll see how far we are, and uh, and then see how we're doing. And then we'll go and set up our course play course because we will be then in a position where we can do that. Uh, and that means that we can concentrate on our harvest and uh, don't need to worry about things like the field angles, which is why I can't put a hired worker on this and why our Sort of our headlands are going a little bit slower than uh, they otherwise would because we have to keep stopping and starting with the combine, uh, which is not ideal. So we're over 90% full now. And, uh, and we've not made it back along the back straight, which does surprise me a little bit. So we're gonna get this, uh, we'll get the auger out at this point. Uh, we'll get it up to about 99%. I, I don't know how full our tractor is actually, uh, whether it will take all of this. I think it's, well, it's 16,000 liters and we're, uh, we're 8,600. So actually this will at the moment fill our tractor. Yeah, we're 53% full. Uh, it takes 16,000 litres. So there's no point in continuing around the field. Uh, we might as well bring our tractor around. Uh, and then we'll define our new course play course. Get that done and, uh, and working. And then we're able to get the headlands out and get the rest of this uh, done itself. Uh, and we're able to cut into the field. It's not actually taken us as long to get these headlands out as I'd, uh, as I'd expected. 
so I'm quite happy with that. Let's bring this under. Uh, and the canola is, is actually producing a pretty good yield. I'm, as I said, I'm, I was happy with a single trailer off the headings. Uh, the fact that we are, have made it round this far uh, and we still have heading to go and, and fill the trailer or, and, and to fill the combine is a really good sign. It's really good for us. Uh, I'm, I'm very cautious based on what we've had with previous uh, harvests where we've discovered that it's not actually we got into the main body of the field and it's not seemed as good as the headlands are. You gotta think that the headlands I'm basically doing well we're not, on a field that's square like this, we're basically doing uh, a twelve cuts into the field. So we need to be getting the same amount roughly off well, eleven cuts. Or just under eleven cuts. In order to, to fill the trailer from the field. So yeah, that's that's not bad. Right, what I want to do now is bring up course play, make sure we're clear of any courses. Fantastic. Uh, and then we'll start course recording at this point. And head down to our yard. And we're gonna have to go through the back of the barn for this. Uh, there's no way to avoid that. That's the only way that we get the kind of width. Uh, that we or the the kind of turning circle that we need. So we'll bring this through and just through the back of the barn. So we have to remember that the back of this barn is something that we keep clear, considering it's a fairly uh, obvious thoroughfare. That's that's not too difficult. Ah, right. Now this gives me opportunity to uh, demonstrate something uh, with course play. If you get like this and you get stuck. Pause your recording, dump the points that don't work. Right. And because we've paused the recording, what we can do is line ourselves back up. We want to make sure that we, we come out of here and take this corner wider. And this is this is what I love about these um, doing these videos, is I can now give you uh, a pointer. Right, and so we'll unpause that, and then we bring this round here, we take our circle wider, so that we don't catch, and on, and there we go. So that is how you correct a course play course. If you, if you make something go wrong, or you need, to, you need to make an adjustment to something you've just done, that is how to do it with course play and I love that I love that feature of it it just makes it means you don't have to re-record an entire course if something goes a little bit awry and you just pause it delete the points get yourself into position and then uh, and then yeah and then it works right and then I'm going to bring it in here to here like this there we go and stop it there uh, so we are carting, we are carting from this combine, uh, and we want to save this, so F18 lower, carting, there we go, and drive course, right, so that is waiting for the combine to reach fill level, so let's start up our combine again. And away we go. So we'll keep going until we reach fill level. Uh, we're probably going to do a cutting when we get to the end of this uh, this row. So we'll get a cutting done today as well, and that will uh, that will give us a, a really great setup and a really great thing to go with. Um, I'm still not 100% sure what we're going to do with corn. Uh, we've either got to get a header or a forage harvester of some description. Uh, I'm not. I'm just not convinced with forage harvester simply because, more than anything else, we have no silage clamps uh, in which to do it, and we would and we need to buy the VGA in order to use it, I believe. So uh, that would that would cause us problems. That would put a big dent in what we're doing. So we might we might as well just get a header for this combine and just cut it. 
But uh, yeah, let's see where we get to unload with our trailer now that we've made it uh, almost the whole way around our headlands. End of the headland and we are 33% full. It's going to be interesting. We're going to cut in now and the tractor actually starts trying to reach us at about 50%. So I think we're going to we're going to be in a position where I don't quite know what's going to happen. Uh, we need to find a little bit too close to the hedge. Uh, we need to find... Oh, massively too close to the hedge. Let's straighten up. There we go. That's going to put a dent in something. Right, I think that is our angle. Let's have a quick look outside. Yeah, that is pretty much our angle. We'll put in our auger. Uh, good width to cut in at. So, what is our angle? 214, which is what we know it to be previously uh, for this field. So, we'll hold at 214. I've still not put the uh, GPS mod in here, which is a little bit crazy. I, I need to go and seek that out. Wobster did uh, send it to me early on, and I've just never really got around to installing it. So, we might see if we can uh, do this with uh, GPS next time. I'm finding the compass is, is actually a really good way of doing it. Uh, but uh, yeah, we, we do kind of GPS would make our lives a whole lot easier uh, in general. But this is, uh, this is a pretty straight cut in at the moment. I'm keeping a close eye on that compass point. Just sort of adjusting it slightly if I need to. There we go. We're nicely on course. Uh, I think it's going... The way this is planted is actually not... I, I think it's in line with the bottom end of the field, not the top end. Uh, and that's why we uh, that's why we end up with a much bigger section at the top end of the field that we'll have to clean up. But that's fine. That We can we can do that later. And, uh, and that will work okay for us. We are at 49%. So, in fact, yeah, I can see the carting tractor heading along the top of the field so it has been wise enough to head along the top end of the field and i'm expecting to sort of see it out that window at any moment whether it does whether it makes it there before uh, we, we finish this cut through i don't know in fact no i can see it coming in behind us now so uh, i don't think we're going to go and, we're going to see that coming around the end of the field we may see it doing something actually fairly ugly um, if i'm not careful so let's lift and we are nowhere near empty so i'm not i'm not too worried where is it coming it is yeah it is doing something ugly but that's okay that's the thing with course play you have to accept certain uh, it's like it's like everything in the game there's a there's a, a level of realism you can go to um, and then you're always going to have something that doesn't quite fit it. So we'll get the auger out. And this now sort of, again, I, this is one of the features I love about crossplay. Is that I can now just keep going. I can just be harvesting. And, and harvesting realistically. Which is, or mostly realistically. Because obviously our crossplay tractor is, is not overly helpful. Uh, and as long as we stop the course play tractor or, or we empty to the course play tractor well before we reach the edge, there's very little issue. There we go. And so that is a nice, easy uh, empty. Uh, works well for us. So uh, let's keep going. Let's get a bit more cut out. And then we can wrap things up. We have made a lot of progress on this canola field today, uh, which is utterly fantastic and uh, and yeah we're gonna make a decent amount of money for it in order to uh, move forward with our cows I think
We're up to 53% now and our tractor is catching up to us. This will fill up the trailer and uh, will be actually a pretty good place for us to finish. Uh, two trailers off this field so far and uh, doing pretty well. Three headlands should be enough space for the tractor to uh, to go with. But I'm pretty happy with that. That's that's really cool. Let's have a look outside quickly. Wow, that's two trailers, and uh, and we've cut this much and a bit to fill out the second one. So I'm I'm really quite pleased with that. That is a really really good start to this field. We're gonna get this top bit out next time, uh, and then uh, yeah, and then probably the bottom bit out. So it's, it's really quite a, a detailed setup. But that's where I'm going to end it as my, uh, yeah, as my uh, course play tractor has disappeared into the hedge. Uh, I'll get that sorted in a moment. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos, and live streams from Virtual Farmer. Please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.